Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best. I'm the champ. Give me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. What a moment. All eyes are on the UFC women's bantamweight champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, man or woman, on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Luana Pinero. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. Macy, the future, Barbara! Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Let's do it. Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. We, the North, we're all about these Raptors now, I know. I mean, yes, when they won the championship, I love the Raptors. Let's move forward. Let's get to some good fights in Canada and stop winning basketball games. That's what we need to That's a good jab by her there. She lands a nasty body kick. Oh, she gets inside and gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice combination. Rock him, suck him out of the suit here. Oh, what a massive uppercut. That will not feel good in the ball. An arrow shot is blocked. You see anything like it about a minute into the fight, these women are brawling, they are brawling. Somebody's gonna go. I mean, somebody has to go to sleep. This is impossible to pace to keep. Nice shot there by the chance. 
great job getting to her position, right into that single column type. That is how you scramble, folks. Straight right is there. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connect. Oh, a beautiful reaction by her there. She catches the kick and looks for an immediate takedown with the kick. Reactionary takedown are the best takedowns because you don't have to go and create them. She did exactly that on that takedown after catching the kick. Stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Beautiful. Back to the feet. for a Darce choke. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Oh. Oh. Set oh. for the end of round one. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that good. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Previous round, both fighters had their moments. We'll see who takes the upper hand. Both had their moments, but nobody really stood out. Nobody separated themselves from the other fighter. Which of these two women is going to be able to really charge out ahead in the next round? She's got that single collar in the clinch now. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Well, that's her best strike, that hook, and she's able to land it yet again here. She lands it once again. Head back there, this could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very bad. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and prevailing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I would think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? Don't fix something. That's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She is a master of landing uppercuts. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. She gets in very close and gets to the single call time. Oh, she tagged her with that uppercut. And arrows. Oh, my goodness. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Well, the damage starting to add up, bleeding from her cheek now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. This fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Oh! Oh! oh. Huge left! Frank right Grant here! Frank right Grant! Well, it looked like we were gonna get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the shot. She wasn't able to find a kill shot. She hurt her very badly, but she was not able 
to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. Watch for her to set up that hook again now. It's been a big weapon for her here tonight. Let's see if she goes back to it. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined. Oh, that's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she got to go chase her down. Get another one off the face of the All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm just not sure how many more strikes she can take to that swollen area as they attend to her. We'll get you some replays. Not many, J.A. She's in trouble. It's damaging, and every time another one lands on that type of swelling, it feels like a jolt of lightning through your face. She has got to move her head. She's got to be proactive in her defense so she's not taking too many shots. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? She's got her in a lot of trouble. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice. Her best strike. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power normally in the weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, so we told you we would monitor this storyline. The cup was opened up early in the fight, and it is getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, look at that lead left punch. She's getting up, yep. Big right hand. Goodness, what a fight. She's hurt She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. All right, stacked guard for her now. What would you tell the top fighter here in terms of trying to avoid the escape? Well, you got to... Big right hand. Job getting those hands up. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen, two of the best women in the world, and they both knocked each other down in that previous round. They decided before they stepped in the octagon that they were going to bite down on their mouthpieces and let the fists fly. They did that. Both of them paid for it, but they both saw the end of the round. Let's see if anyone changes the course as the next round starts. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over, 
people don't usually get up from those types of strikes. Ready she fight. took that big punch, Ready. continued to plot Good. forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have A couple of hammer fists now. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by she the She got stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Canero's in half guard now. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. So she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other. Oh! That's it! Wow! Wow! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Macy the Future. The Bantamweight Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up.